Okay, a uh, projectile is fired upwards from a tower 300 feet high with an initial velocity, initial velocity of 320 feet per second. It's height above the ground. Each feet is given at any time t seconds by the equation function of h t equals negative 6 t squared plus 320 t plus 300. The question is asking for its maximum height and um, <clears throat> what time it reaches that height. For this problem, it's useful to visualize what the graph of the function looks like. So first the parent graph. This is the parent graph. <laughs> um, it, um, it's the graph of a square function. It opens up and it's symmetrical over the y, or it's symmetrical to the y. So this is what it looks like. Um, but in this equation, it's actually negative. So it opens down. So when it's looking for its maximum height, it's looking for what point on this um, function <coughs> can it reach the maximum of its um, yield potential, whatever. <laughs> um, so to find the maximum value, we need to find its coordinates on that graph based on that function, which is here, then this equation right here. Um, I already started plugging in, so <coughs> the equation that we use to find um, the vertex is negative b over 2a. And um, a is negative 16, b is 320, and then just for you know the sake of it, and c is 300. So you just, um, <coughs> we plug in the 320 for b because that's 320, and then based on the fact that it's negative, you just put the parentheses on it, so if it was a negative, it's not going to confuse you or be affected by that. And then you put the negative 16 as the A. <coughs> so then, um, you just carry that over, negative 320, and you've got negative 32, and then the negative over negative equals a positive, and then as you can see, could just, you know, get the 10 out, so it's 10t. <coughs> okay. So, um, after that we plug in the 320. Oh, hold on, I messed up. <laughs> um, hold on. Okay, part two. So, you would take, um, the result from the the um from finding the vertex because on that we found our x value, you know x equals negative b over two a. So to find the other coordinate, um you would plug it in back into the function. So you would put a ten here, ten, ten, and then um you would multiply that out. Based on that, you would get. 100 here, 3200 here, and 300. So then you just multiply it out, and that stays negative, so you have negative 1600, 3200, and 300. And when you add them all together, you have the resulting 1900 feet. So if you look back, um, <coughs> at the first, or the, the visualization that I had of the negative, like this would be, the, um, so you'd have like the 10 over here and like the 19, so it would kind of just go down like that, so this would be its maximum, like right around here somewhere, so yeah.